What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. What's going on? How is everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, this tractor's not doing too well. I think it needs a... Uh, needs a little bit of a... Wait. Yeah. Well, we finally have rain. It is... Uh, well, it's been forever. To be completely honest, I've never seen rain on here before. We did see rain on our last Let's Play, well, not Let's Play, we did a little video yesterday. Uh, some people liked it, some people did not. Uh, it was simply there to be, show off the weather patterns and all that good stuff. Really cool video, I enjoyed doing it. And, uh, and so that was the first time I'd ever seen rain. And then boom, I come in here and we fast forward just a little bit during the day, bam rain that's what we get man that's what we get it's all good it's all good so we gotta go through and we have got to get these fields done oh yeah we gotta get them sprayed up all good to go so i think we could probably let this guy kind of do his thing he's gonna do a good job regardless of what we do if we hey come on get the birds dang it well there's nothing we can do about that so we are hanging out around again it's just pouring down rain there's not a tremendous amount that we can do let's take a look in here see what we need to do let's see fertilization's good it's oat it's not really a whole lot one thing i would like to do eventually i would like to buy fields 21 and 20 and combine them and put grass in it could we go check that out real quick you guys want to do that let's go check those out this uh, right here these are the fields in question actually can we climb this maybe yeah we can climb it a little bit gotta gotta get you jump and then ah uh, come on oh man all right let's get up to at least to the top come. i was just there it is possible let me show the people the thing there we go so we've got this whole area right here that's what i want and I want to be able to have this entire thing as a meadow on it and be able to throw grass in it. So we can come through, mow it, bale it, collect it, wrap it, whatever. So I think today that is going to be the idea. So, see, 227,000, we got 900. We eat, dog. We eat. 227,147. It's not too bad. Are there any trees in the middle? Oh, no trees in the middle, no trees in the way. We will end up doing this entire area, so let's buy. Bam, got it. Boom, bam, got it. Got him. Yeah. So now what we need to do is we need to pick up a plow, and I think the Goham Co. has a plow that'll work good for us. What crop is in here right now? Oh, we got oat in here as well. Dang. It's growing. What's fertilization state? No fertilizer on there. Ooh, yikes. If we want this to be good at all, we have got to put some fertilizer on there, at least to get it. Oh, we got to do that now. Where is fertilizer? No, but put me on the main farm deck, gun it. There we go. Cool. Let's grab this. Let's throw some fertilizer down. So we now have officially done that field. It's got one more fertilization state, but unfortunately it's in its last growth state. And as you know, in farming simulators, I said 17, 19, farm sim 19, you cannot go back when it's in its last state. You just can't do it. Did this really hit the tree? Use a dummy. Why are you in the tree? You, you got the the field done what's the problem here I don't understand why it hit the tree but it did nonetheless I took the sprayer off sprayer was just taking way too long so instead we put this on it yeah now let's pull this 
Park it in. Nice and easy. Cool. So, I just spoke with uh, some buddies down at the Goham Co. Said, hey, I have a project and I need to borrow some stuff. So, they said, sure, come on down. Get what you need since you're the owner and everything. That's right. It's like, oh yeah, we are the owner of the Goham Co. That's right. So, we are going to go grab some stuff for the Goham Co. We need a tractor. We also need a plow because we're going to go ahead and start preparing the area around or at least get the stuff where we want it. So what we're going to do with field uh, was 2021 again, is we are going to plow those together and we are going to create one massive grass field. That way when we come in, mow, Ted, whatever we want to do, we will have huge grass field to do it in. Well, can't do that. If there's two fields and they're squared off, I don't want them to be squared off. I want them to be not squared off. Yeah, there you go. I want to actually have to get in there and do some work. Before that, we've got to get in there and really do some work. So we're down here at the Goham Co. Thing is looking nice. Very nice. Let's park this up outside. There's that. So we've got a plow. We've got a big plow. How much horsepower does that thing need? Um, it's pretty massive. 240. Okay, that's not too bad. So 240 horsepower. We don't have anything for the Goham Co. in that range. Um, it looks like we're taking the JD. That's right. Looks like we're taking the 8370, the 8RT. Uh, is this a little overkill for what we want to do? And before you say yes, I, I understand that it is. But it's so awesome, isn't it? Look at this thing. Da, 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 da. There's a reason I kept it. I was going to say that. There's a reason I kept this thing. Also, thanks to Clutch, we've got this huge pad out here now. Got a nice little pad area. Get everything together. Appreciate you coming and doing that for us. And I hope you are enjoying your brand new harvester well brand new to you not really for us yeah you know what it is so let's get this on down and let's see should we try and go through nah well, let's not try to do that so let's say why don't we just take a jump there problem is there's a little construction site here and i keep screwing that up and jumping right into it ain't no good ain't no good for nobody what's the easiest way in here can't go in there. We're gonna have to go in down here. Dang, I hate that. We gotta like buy this whole land and create this area. There we go. So what we're gonna be doing is cultivating and plowing up all the area around. Oh yeah. You know what? I love this rain, but it is really, really messing with me. Let's see what we can do to get rid of it. And now we're back. Oh yeah! By the way, we're like in the next day. It rained all the way until like 6 in the morning. But we're here, and we are good. So this actually doesn't need to happen yet. We need to harvest. Big time. We've got to get harvest going ASAP. Let's jump in here. And let's grab, uh, let's see... I don't think I've got a header trailer for this anymore. I think I sold it because I started screwing up. So it looks like we might be trying to take this. Oh yeah, uh, we're gonna try and make this work with a or 40 foot header driving down the road. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Seems to be okay right now. But there is stuff everywhere, and we're going to knock it down. First things first, let's track your side. Oh, bam. Got it. And can we squeeze? Oh, yeah, we squeeze through there. Another sign. Bam. Got it. This is tough. <laughs> Maybe we should have called the Goham Co. to take care of this, because this, uh... Oh, you know what's actually not too bad? I think I'm going to get stuck right here, though. Nope. Went right through. There's a sign. There's a sign. There's a sign. Hey, I, I found a quick way to get signs down, that's for sure. Bam, got it down. Oh, yep, there's the mailbox. 
And this is our place. You know, just a couple more signs right here. Just to bam, 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 bam. Got it. Yeah. We got them. We got them. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it goes down. There's that. You know, why is it that I always forget which way it is to enable straw swath? Right on the D-pad. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's get this unfolded. And then we are going to set this, and we're going to hire a worker. I don't think that we've got enough in here to really do much damage. So this helper should, should be able to do this for us without any issues, problems, whatever. Turn that off. There we go. Perfect. I think he's going to be good. Let's hop out. Let him do his thing. And we are going to jump in here. We're going to roll this out. And get ready to start making our outline. Don't think we're going to be able to do the whole thing. Not yet, at least. Okay, so let's drop this down. And then create field. Now, you're probably looking at this going, Aw, DJ, you done messed up now, buddy. You already know. You've got... Yeah, I already know. I already know there's grass in the ground. But we are making a much, much... Bigger, wider, longer, uh, Kanye West song, stronger. <laughs> we're doing all that. Yeah. And the reason that we're doing this, you're probably looking at this going, well, there's already grass on the ground. Why are you why are you doing that? None of that makes sense, DJ. Well, the reason I'm doing it like this is so that we can get in and we can fertilize. That's right. Being able to fertilize this is going to be the biggie. Oop, need to back up a little bit. That way we get the most yield possible. There we go. Perfect. I'm not worried about getting this too perfect. <laughs> Even though I just said perfect. I'm not worried about getting this too perfect because we're still going to fly through here and doing everything. And I think about right there is where we're going to have to stop it. Because we're going to have to come through and everything and do all that good stuff. Very good stuff. Cool. So let's get all this done. Um, I wonder how much this already has. Maybe we should go ahead and grab a baler and get to baling up. We are going to do round bales and... Actually, should we do square bales? Square bales will be much faster. Oh, yeah, they're definitely. Definitely going to be okay here. We've got a round baler, and we've been doing round bales. And... I think square bales are going to be the way to go. I think so. Where's our bailing technology? Here we go. Square baler right there. Perfect. 4,000 leaves, 12 miles per hour. Turns loose straw, straw high grass, whatever, into what we want it to be. 140 horsepower. So we should have no problem whatsoever pulling this with the biggest, baddest boy around town. That's right. The 87. Yeah, yeah. Let's jump in. Got it. Back it up. Pick up the baler. Oh, this is going to be fun. The baler is in. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do it to it. Unfolded. Turn it on. Bam. Now, the great thing about this being square baler is we can literally set this and forget it. It's going to plop those bells out about as quick as you can say, plop them bells out. Say it real quick. Mm-hmm. I already plopped one out. Got it out before you could even say it. It's like, oh, no, DJ, you just cut me off. Well, no. -uh. <laughs> ah, we missed a little bit. Dang it. You know what? I think instead of trying to hit it, we are going to go through and do all of well, as much as possible, and then come back through and hit those little itty-bitty areas. I think for doing straw bales, square is the way to go, especially for how much we've got. I know we've got a ton of round bales that are square, or they're circles, rather, but we are going to have to sell those. I just don't think having that many freaking square bale, or round bales for straw, I don't think even having that many straw bales is a good idea. I would mentioned at one point that I was thinking about going through and using those as straw for cows or pigs or something like that. But as you know, we tried to do that 
and we just ran into problems one problem after another jim helped me as much as he possibly could but we did get to a point where it just was not feasible anymore and so we tried 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 finally gave up nothing we could do how many bells are we going to get on this oh we're going to get a lot of bells so thank goodness we can do 16 bells per load and right here at the barn perfect yeah let's finish up We have our last load of bells here as <laughs> so i've got the harvester running at our main farm right now getting all the the oat up i said wheat all the oat up and i have decided to turn the straw swath off because all we're doing is making bells and selling them it's really not making us a whole lot of money for example guess how much i'm gonna make from this tell you what ain't gonna be a whole lot Yep, so, 7,400 bucks, just about 7,500. Not quite, but almost. But the great thing is now, all this is ready to go. Are we still creating fields? We are still creating fields, nice. So this is good and I think we've got a direct drill around here somewhere that we're gonna be able to come through and get all of this nice and done up which i'm very very excited about tell you what this map's coming together and it's coming together quite well i'm very happy with the way things are happening right now with this map there's a couple things here and there there always are there always will be there's not a whole lot we can do about it but good things are still happening and that makes me happy and i hope you guys are enjoying it as well uh, let's pull don't ah crap an angle and I just won't I don't want to pull it too much of an angle but see I can uh, can't make this turn we want the reboard Xylor we want the web of 6m please 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 work on them I know you guys are doing it and I know that there's a chance that the Rayboard could come out like two days after or one day even after this video is released but we don't have it yet, and I want it. I want it so bad. All right, so how much does this feel? Uh, okay, we are getting close to getting a nice little outline done. And then we just have to, well, keep doing that. All right. Trying to make this nice and wide. Keep the turn good. There we go. Okay, okay. Got a little closer to that tree than I really wanted to, if I'm honest. But... You know, if I had the Rayboard, all these trees would be gone. And we would have this massive, massive, massive area. There we go. Cruise control is set. So we don't have to do a whole lot down here. But it's just all this that has to be done. We do have quite a bit of work still to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish this headland. I'm going to continue making more more ground that way we can get in here and then to top it off i'm gonna try and go in and buy a mower uh, looks like we're running a little low on funds so we may have to call in a few favors or go sell some stuff uh, as far as uh, crops go we have quite a quite a few crops from our uh, previous harvest and uh, that kind of thing so we want to make sure that we can use that stuff for what we have it for so yeah nice see you in a second Everything is coming together very nicely. We've just hired a worker on the plow. They don't need to. I just think it looks kind of weird without. So let's open this up. Let's come through. And we want to buy some lime. And we want to fill this thing to the top. Shouldn't take that long. Maybe. 
maybe it's going to take a little bit longer than I thought. We do have the wide spreaders, 18 meters total on this Breedle. Bad boy. Yeah. So we got that. Uh, I am pulling it with the 6M. Uh, it, it's not really doing very well, but it's it's pulling it nonetheless. Still having some fun times with it nonetheless. Here we go. And it looks like this is doing quite well, actually. Uh, it is recognizing that the center is wanting to be plowed, I guess. So that is good. I like that. Yeah. Again, this is a step. This does not need to happen. We are down here. As you can see, I just wanted the whole thing to be kind of plowed, if you will. Uh, it doesn't need... Uh, what is that? Lime? There's some parts that do need lime, some parts that don't. We are just going to hit the headland, hit the center, and be on our merry way with the lime. Speaking of, does this go all the way back? It must. There you go. Yeah. And it's missing bits, pieces here. That's okay. Like I said, this is a step that doesn't even need to happen. I just wanted it to happen. Ooh, the lime's done. Let's grab it and bring it back. And here we are. Oh, yeah. Let's get this unfolded. And we are going to get it rocking and rolling. Again, we're going to hit a headland. And let's turn it on. There we go. Cruise control. Come on. Let's go, baby. Come on. There you go. Yeah. We're rocking now. We are moving 12 miles an hour. We are laying it down thick and laying it down smooth. So again, like I said, the plan here is to go and lay this down. We're not going to buy mo a mower yet. We still need to get it all down. So we'll take care of the mower at a later date, possibly tomorrow, possibly the day after that. Who knows? We shall see. But in the meantime, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. And all right, please subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments section. This is about to be bad. <laughs> and if you've got anything you want to see, let me know down there as well. I know quite a few people have been posting saying, hey, try this, try this, check this out. Ah, oh, I did this. It was awesome. Yo, I love it. Keep it up. Keep it coming, guys. That being said, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.